So the exodus of Conservative MPs uh, continues. Paul Scully today announcing that he won't be standing at the next election and Guido Fawkes calculating that that's now 62 Tory MPs who have announced they will not be standing at the next election. And when you look at the new national Westminster poll result that dropped today, it's not hard to see why, because not only is Rishi Sunak not delivering a poll rebound and recovery for the Tories, but in many ways, their fate actually appears to be even more bleak under Sunak than it would have been if they'd stuck with Boris Johnson or indeed given Liz Truss time. It seems some Conservative MPs now are just absolutely determined to stick with Sunak, no matter how dire the by-election results or the national poll results, on the basis that they think they would look ridiculous uh, to oust yet another leader. And while you can understand that to some degree, they are now, it seems to me, ignoring the very real reality that the likes of Simon Clark have warned about, that, that the Tories are on course to get absolutely obliterated. You've seen uh, Rishi Sunak's recent personal ratings hit rock bottom. YouGov now have reform catching up uh, to the Conservatives. And just consider this today from Ipsos. And this is Ben Page of Ipsos uh, recording the lowest ever vote share for the Conservatives since they began this polling in the 1970s. So this is the worst result for the Tories since Ipsos polled going back to 1978. And what it shows there, once again, a massive Labour lead, 47%. It shows the Conservatives on 20%. Uh, this poll actually has reform lower, though still increasing their support according to this uh, pollster. But you're talking about the worst result for the Tories under Rishi Sunak for this party that you've seen in decades, indeed, since you've seen Ipsos actually recording this data. And previous Conservative low points there, you see 22% under John Major in 94 and 95, 23% in July 97, and 23% in December 2022. But this is the lowest ever since they started doing this research in the 1970s. Now, meanwhile, reform not as high as they are in other polls, but still, in terms of Ipsos's data, you can see they're doubling their support. Sunak's ratings here reaching 73% uh, level of dissatisfaction, 73% of voters dissatisfied with the PM, only 19% satisfied, that's minus 54. Dissatisfaction with the government is at 83%, just 10% satisfied, that's minus 73, another new low. And you've got there uh, Gideon Skinner, the head of political research at Ipsos, saying the historical comparisons continue to look ominous for Rishi Sunak and the Conservatives, and that the Ipsos political monitor started in the late 70s and has never recorded a Conservative vote share this low. And the job satisfaction trends for the PM and his government since he took office are also heading downwards. So it seems it wasn't actually uh, Boris Johnson who won that big majority, or indeed Liz Truss, who has dragged the Tories down to their lowest level of popularity, but Rishi uh, Sunak, the man who many of the great and the good uh, in Westminster backed to turn around the Conservative Party's fortunes. Let me know if any of those numbers surprise you or not, guys. I will, of course, keep bringing you all the latest on this and more. So please do whack this video a quick thumbs up. And of course, as ever, cheers for watching.